Since the end of the 19th century, Damash Tariq Masari had worked for the establishment of a new Czech university in Brno. The plan, supported by Czech professors, politicians and the public, was met with strong resistance from German citizens in Brno. These tensions erupted in violent street clashes, claiming the life of František Pavlík, the first victim of the fight for the university. Their efforts succeeded after the establishment of Czechoslovakia. This laid the foundations for the largest higher education institution in Moravia. The university was named after its main advocate. The Faculty of Law, the Faculty of Medicine, the Faculty of Science and the Faculty of Arts were the first faculties of Masaryk University. The original plans were ambitious, yet, due to financial constraints, the construction of an academic village remained unfulfilled. The university was temporarily located in former poorhouses and orphanages. On the 17th of November, 1939, under the Nazi occupation, the university was closed for six years. The Faculty of Law turned into the Gestapo headquarters. The dormitories were used for the executions of the Czech resistance fighters. The material and moral damage was immense. After the war, things seemed to be looking up. February 1948, however, brought another political upheaval. The university was now in the hands of the Communist Party and could no longer bear Masaryk's name. For another 30 years, it was known as Jan Evangelista Porkinje University. The 1960s was an era of political liberalization. The student initiative was stopped by the arrival of Soviet tanks and the following normalization. The strong political control and forced resignations contrasted with the success of the university physicians and investments in the latest technologies. November 1989, the Velvet Revolution gave the Republic back its freedom and the university its original name. That was a start of rapid progress. New faculties and further campus development attracted thousands of Czech and foreign students, as well as important guests from around the world. Masaryk University had finally found its firm ground and well-deserved prestige. <laughs>